my fellow felines, this is Kitty Cat Plays With Yarn here, and welcome to another speed build. And in this video, I'm going to be uh, taking a challenge that Simmer Erin gave me after my last speed build, and she had kind of challenged me to do a dog lover's home, and that is absolutely what I did here. Um, and this, I actually made the people that live here and her dog, uh, well, the person that lives here and her dog, because I was getting very into it, and uh, I felt the need to make them. So that cast will be coming soon. I hope you look out for that. I hope you enjoy that. But here we are with the speed build. And um, this is a two-bedroom, one-bathroom house uh, with a laundry room and a uh, dining kitchen and a uh, full outdoor area, including a little space for her to train her dog. And when I was building this, I looked over at my boyfriend and I was like, I imagine this woman has a little corgi and she he is so spoiled. And um, that's what the dog is. The dog's a corgi, spoilers. Um, and this house ends up being super cute. Um, I actually end up doing the little like, pull out couch thing again, but I do it a little differently than I did last time. I actually did it um, the way I was talking about in the other video. Uh, so I made it horizontal, not vertical, if that makes any sense. Um, and I only did it with a single bed and I actually used one of the, not one of the cots, but like one of the air mattress bed things from, uh, oh, what's it called? The outdoor pack, outdoor retreat. Um, I used one of those beds and I think it looks pretty good. And the spare room is really cute in my opinion. I just kind of turned it into like her like office kind of hoarding room area. Um, and I use the hoarding term lightly and whatever. I don't want to offend anyone. But um, in that room, like she has a, like she has the one tile desk from City Living and like a really old computer and a lamp and stuff and then she has like an older looking couch I think one of them from City Living and then the bed coming out from that and just like a lot of kind of knickknacks and stuff uh stuff that she doesn't really have a place for in her house now uh and I thought that was a cute idea and I was really pleased with it and actually, surprise, surprise, this house has a little bit of terrain manipulation. Uh, nothing noticeable, clearly, um, but I just kind of raised it up a little bit so it's not fully flat because I wanted to, <laughs> I guess, is my reasoning for that. And you will very quickly notice how blue this house is. I actually end up making all of the windows blue as well. And um, I did that because the door was blue. Um, the front door is blue. It's one of, it's the one we got with the patch a few months ago. Um, and I hadn't used it before and I don't think I've even seen it before, uh, but I left it like that and um, used it, the blue one, the blue swatch. I was debating between that one and the green, but I like the blue more. Um, so I used this and then I used uh, the Strange River windows, as you can see, the ones that are on this, and I ended up making them blue and I used the blue fencing and blue spandrels and columns and stuff from Stranger Ville as well. And I just, I made this woman obsessed with blue. And when you see the create a sim, uh, when am I putting that up? Today's Monday. So when you see the create a sim on Wednesday, you will understand what I mean. Like, yeah, she likes blue. That's probably what you're thinking. No, she loves blue. Everything about her is blue, except her hair, basically. And I was tempted to do that, but we don't have, like, I wanted to do a oh, that grandma has blue hair, like the super light blue, almost white blue. But we don't really have a good swatch for that. And I um, don't use custom content hair that doesn't have EA swatches that match. So that's my reasoning for that. So she just has like one of the graying swatches because I thought it worked just fine. Um, 
and I'm obsessed with how this house turned out and how this creatism turned out, and I'm very proud of it. Uh, and also, this is my first uh, real speed build video since I started doing the new thumbnail styles. Uh, you may or may not have noticed, um, but I started doing new thumbnails and I actually worked on those yesterday um, as the day I'm recording this. And I'm obsessed with them, uh, like properly obsessed. And I don't quite know why, but I just like them so much more. I thinned out the little white frame they had and I changed the font, got rid of like the box thing that my text was always in. And I just think it looks so much better. And um, it kind of gives me vibes of some of my good friend Renee's thumbnails. Um, like, not that I copied her, but I, I did what I did. And then I looked at it. I was like, huh, why does this remind me of something? And then I went looking at some people I watch frequently. And I was like, oh, this kind of looks like Renee's thumbnails. But not in a way where I was copying her. Keep this in mind. I didn't copy Renee. It just has a similar feel to Renee's thumbnails. I feel like I dug myself in a hole. I didn't directly copy Renee. Um, I hope you know that. I think you do, but just to be sure, uh, Renee, if you're watching, I didn't copy your thumbnails. I love you so much and you're an inspiration, but I didn't copy your thumbnails. <laughs> Wow, okay, I needed to calm down with that, but I do feel like I dug myself into a hole, so we'll see what happens. Um, but right around here was when I was like, oh yes, I need to make this a dog lover's house. And I was planning on doing one anyway, um, but when Aaron said that to me, I was like, yeah, I mean, I will, but like, that's not the, like, making it for a person that has dogs isn't the problem, it's doing the shell or whatever. And I thought this was a perfect one to do it because... I imagined uh, this is a widow and her grandkids don't really come around often um, and neither do her kids and so she just has a dog as a as a friend you know um, I mean I I know a woman that had a bunch of cats I don't do I know a woman that has like dogs that's like single or whatever I don't think so off the top of my head I don't think so um, but speaking of animals, uh, my kitten has been kind of horrible today. And when I say that, I mean, um, he is just kind of doing things he knows he shouldn't do. He's been getting on the kitchen table, which isn't allowed. He hissed at me earlier, um, because he got somewhere that he shouldn't have been and I picked him up and moved him. Um, he... This is a newer thing that he's been trying to do. He has been climbing the coat rack. Um, and we have a chair, like, right in front of our coat rack so we can sit down when we get in and take off our shoes and our coat and just, like, you know, so we don't track mud or snow or whatever through the house. Um, <laughs> and today, like, he has been known to kind of sit in the chair and kind of, like, bat at coat sleeves or whatever. But today, I was out out in the kitchen doing dishes um and that's where our front door is so the coat rack's right there and whatever um <laughs> and i look over and i see him jump up onto the coat rack claws into my coat which is pretty nice but it's old so i could deal with him digging out my coat fine and nearly tip the entire fucking coat rack over I I was going to lose my mind. I thought I was going to lose my mind. I was like, no, what are you doing? Oh my god. Um, and then I, well, I didn't do anything. I just kind of went over him. I was like, Loki! And then he ran away. So, um, that's good. And I think he's sleeping now. After I got done with dishes, I played with him for a few minutes. And then he seemed to calm down, uh, which was a plus. And then he laid on the back of the couch. Uh, looking out the window and started falling asleep. So I'm hoping he's still asleep. Uh, and that's why I did, I'm did. i doing my voiceover now because I was like, okay, I don't want him to be running around like a crazy cat uh, during my voiceover. Oh, another thing he actually did that I completely forgot. Um, we have his food and his water separate. We have his food in like one of the like little plastic bowls that has like the two sides to it. 
Um, and then we have his water in like a big like baking bowl, um, like a little bit away because it said that like cats aren't, well, obviously cats aren't used to like having their food and their water right next to each other. And when I say that, I mean in the wild, they don't have their food and their water right next to each other, which is obvious, I would think. Um, so we moved his water like a little bit away and just put his food in the little plastic one um, because he tends to run everywhere and go crazy. So I didn't want him knocking all of his water over when it's in the little plastic one. And uh, some may call this foreshadowing. So I initially I put his water in like a little plastic like cereal bowl or whatever um like where it is now still and he tipped that over three times i believe um before i was like okay we're not playing this game so i got like a big glass baking bowl and his water's in that now which is fine um and it's better in my opinion because he does drink a lot of water anyway so that's helpful and whatever um, uh, but today I walked out to the kitchen and I saw his food was kind of a jar and I was like, okay, fine. I'm used to that, whatever. Um, and then I walked out fully into the kitchen and there was water everywhere. I cleaned it up, got a towel, cleaned it up, whatever. And, you know, put like a little bit of water in his bowl still because there wasn't much left. And then, you know, like. 20 minutes go by and I go out again and there's water everywhere again. And I'm going crazy with this cat. Um, so I just left the towel out there under the water now because I don't know what else to do. Uh, if any of you have tips for cats, let me know in the comments. Because I just don't know what to do about that. Like, he just... And I don't... He doesn't do it on purpose, that's the thing. Like... He just, he's such a spaz, he he runs everywhere, and um, when he does that, he, like, runs into his water and knocks it everywhere. Um, and that's the same thing with his food, that's what he does. So I just don't know how to kind of remedy it, um, but, you know, if you, if you have any thoughts, let me know, because uh, I am very welcome to all of them, because I'm sick of cleaning water up. <laughs> honestly um and the the first towel too the first towel i used today it was like drenched so i couldn't even use that one i had to grab a completely different towel which i mean isn't a big deal but also i was kind of like oh i don't wanna i don't wanna dirty another towel um but i just ended up leaving it there anyway so i guess that works fine enough so I completely lost my train of thought because I did the thing again, as I tend to do, where I sat and scrolled through my phone for a few minutes in the middle of a voiceover. And sometimes I do that to center myself, to calm myself down, because I do feel like I talk a little fast in some of my voiceovers. And I just kind of get winded and get off track. Um, and that's just kind of how I roll at this point, I feel. But yeah, um, I talked through everything so far. I did decorate this house for Christmas because I am in the Christmas mood for sure, no doubt about that. And um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Uh, you are noticing lots of blues, as I said there would be. Um, so now we're on to the bathroom, and it's pretty basic. Uh, I tried to make the walls blue, but I just couldn't. Uh, this house is already uh, blue enough, so I couldn't make any walls or tiles in there blue. Uh, though I did make the sinks blue because they match the counters in the kitchen, and I thought that worked at least. Um, but that's like pretty much the only thing that's blue in there, and I think the bath mat also. But, uh, you know, it's not too bad. The bathroom is probably the least blue part in this whole house um and you know i mean lots of blue can be a good thing but i feel like maybe just maybe the owner of this house overdid it a little bit so the reason i actually decorated this house for christmas i mean i'm already in the christmas spirit enough which is awesome but uh yesterday tuesday um well, yesterday, the day I'm watching this, last Tuesday, 
uh, when you're, wait, what? What am I saying? Uh, yesterday when I'm recording this, uh, last Tuesday when you're watching this, um, we got hit with, I don't know, like, probably like six inches of snow. It's not that bad, um, especially for early December, um, because typically we get snow in, like, October, um, so I'm glad it, like, the heavy snow waited until December, but, um, we got some snow, <laughs> so... I was just very in the holiday mood and I had like a huge cup of hot chocolate and I was ready to fully decorate the tree, um, but I couldn't for reasons that uh, I don't want to talk about because I'm going to get mad about it again, but that's okay. Um, our tree is up and like it has lights on it and it has some decoy decorations for the kitten uh, because I was concerned that he was going to destroy the tree. Um, but he doesn't seem to care about it really, and we're just going to do the thing of not putting decorations on the bottom bottom row? No, I, the bottom branches. Um, we're not going to put decorations there because I know for a fact that he would go after them and the Christmas tree would come toppling down and I would cry. <laughs> so we're not putting those there. Um, but otherwise, uh, the house is pretty much decorated for Christmas, which is nice, and I'm excited about it. So I think all we have left in this video really is a little bit of landscaping. There's not a lot. Uh, there are just some trees and a few bushes and stuff. And then the spare bedroom, uh, which I really love. Like, I, I know I said this already, but I really love the spare bedroom. Um, it's very cluttered and very cute. And I actually, um, decided to do this because it, I was actually looking at one of my old builds. I think I called it like Sunshine Cottage or something. It's the yellow siding, well, the one with the yellow siding, all the Strangerville windows and stuff. Um, you can kind of see it in the corner, uh, it's really pretty and I'm obsessed with it. Uh, I went in and looked at that again and uh, that's kind of where I got a little bit of my inspiration uh, because every time I see that I'm like, oh my god, I love this. I want to do it again. Um, and since I did uh, decorate for Christmas in this house, I decided to give her a weather machine uh, and make it snow for screenshots. And uh, that's what I did. I made it snow for screenshots. Uh, what I do is always give them, I always uh, use UI Cheats extension to uh, put their handiness skill all the way up and then use the weather machine. That's really frustrating, by the way. Like, at EA, can we just, like, have a way to control weather uh, in build mode? Like, that'd be great. Okay, thanks, bye. Um, but yeah, we are on to the spare bedroom. And like I said, um, we we ended up using like one of the older looking couches and one of the air mattresses. Um, and the reason I actually use that one is because it has like metal legs. And um, in most pull-out couches that I've seen, uh, they they have like metal legs that like fold in whatever so i thought that fit pretty well um and initially you might have seen me trying to just like look like there was pillow and blankets on the couch like they just made up the couch for someone but i thought this looked better ish maybe i don't know let me know what you think about uh the pull out couch in the comments down below um, but if you do want to download this, it is on the gallery under the hashtag kittycatpwy or my origin ID, which is kittycatpwyarn. So feel free to go ahead and download that if you want. Uh, actually, I lied. I didn't put this up because my game crashed uh, when I tried to save and exit. Never mind, I'm sorry. Uh, but feel free to let me know what you think of this house in the comments down below. If you have any idea for builds, or create a sims or anything like that be sure to leave those in the comments down below as well and i'm gonna go so i will see you all in the next video bye friends
I hope you guys are having a perfect afternoon, evening, or whatever, wherever you are in your neck of the world. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to become a pop parent because I post new videos all the time. And I will see you all in the next video. 